Welcome to a video from thedigitallifestyle.com. In this video, I'm going to be looking at this Surface Laptop 6 for business. I had a Surface Laptop, the very first one, some time ago, and um, had a Surface Laptop Studio. It's got the this is the 32 gig version uh, as well with 256 SSD on there. I'm going to try out some things like some of the music uh, tools that I use, some video editing that I do for podcasts as well. So I'm going to try those. But before I dive into that, I just want to have a look at the hardware first of all. So, um, I think this is very nice, nice aluminium or aluminium, depending on where you're from, uh, outer. On the, on the side here, we've got USB Type-B, Type-C and a headphone. And we've got the standard Surface port there. And I've got this hooked up to my Surface um, dock. It's one of the original ones, actually. It still works, so which is good. So, it's got a very nice premium feel to it. It's got the nice curved edges on it. It's slimmer than my laptop studio. It feels nice and solid. It's got it's got a really nice, uh, bright, vivid screen and this trackpad on it, which seems a lot bigger than the Surface Laptop Studio. I mean, it feels huge actually, which is really nice. And it's got that nice haptic feedback on it as well. Keyboard. The keyboard feels really nice on it. Nice positive travel on them. I've had Surface keyboards for a long while and I always really like those. So I expect it to be nice and fast. I've gone through the initial out of box experience, set this up, copied a lot of the settings over from my other devices for me. Hooked it up with my Android phone as well. Some other things I should mention as well. We've got anti-reflective display on there and a hands camera as well for use it with Teams as well, which will be useful for uh, when I'm doing the interviews for podcasting and things. Right, so I've set a few things, I've installed some applications, changed the background, and I just wanted to have a look at some of the uh, things that you can do with it. As you'd expect, everything opens quick, and it's all very snappy, uh, and, it, and it feels great. It supports pen as well, so uh, which is which is great. So in terms of applications, I've got the, my uh, video editing software. Everything's nice and easy, um, nice and smooth, quick to open. On my Surface Studio, is every now and I get these large projects, I'll get some lag drive, dragging the timeline around. I'm not experiencing that, which is really good because I I can hear the fan kicking in now. I've opened this; uh, it's the first time I've heard it actually. But that's um, it, this is quite intensive stuff, so that that's been really good. I've got the audio editing software on here. I also did uh, install some applications on here, some audio applications which enables me to perhaps test the speaker as well. So this is one of the COG software synthesizers and I've got it outputted uh, through a dedicated audio interface, uh, which is how you would normally do it, but I can use the internal sound card, which I will, uh, which we'll do now to give that a try. And I've got a MIDI uh, interface on USB connected to the, to the dock. So I can utilize that as well. So what you should hear now is directly through my the speakers. It's very nice and clear. It's got some bass with it. And there's some nice separation around. So the speakers sound pretty good. Obviously, this is not really designed as a music playing device. It's nice and light. You can check the specs online, but it is light. And you don't need big, heavy bass speakers in there. But it's good enough for some music playback. And obviously, for Teams calls and things like that, it, it's going to be great. Um, the other thing, of course, with the advantage for this is being touchscreen. So I can, you know, I've got all the controls over the... Um, in, in terms of this, it, it's a synth, but it, whatever application you're using, you know, I can c control it all through touch as well, which is really nice. There are some useful things on there, like the uh, studio effects, which you can see on here. So you've got eye contact, automatic framing, and background blur as well. So you saw it zoom in there as um, as it's as it's picking the angle. The, this probably the screen needs to come slightly the back but it's got eye contact so i can't test that uh, without looking at it but yeah my if i'm not looking at this if i don't look at the camera and see it background you can see 
better what it's doing. Well, I'm only be able to tell when I do the edit, but the background blur looks good and the automatic frame in it as well. And there's a portrait blur as well. That's quite nice. So you can see the bl blurring the camera out on there as well. So that's that's quite a nice feature. I do a lot of Teams calls, so uh, this is great for that. It's got the array mic as well, which is noise cancelling. So now what I need to do is spend some time with it and um, and and really get used to it. I've been using this uh, studio. I've got a Dell laptop, so I want to see how it compares to those. It's not exactly like for light with the laptop studio. The Dell laptop is pretty close, so I'm just going to see on that. I do really like the form factor and the design of the laptop studio. With this being the business one, it's very much meant for you know Office Excel, um, Teams calls, all that kind of stuff, which is great for. But it can do the other stuff as well. You see, we've got the video editor, we've got the music software as well. So you can use it for creative tasks uh, as well. So I need to spend some time with it, and then I can do an update video. What I will do is do a separate video on the how you can do music production and content creation on it uh, as well. So it would be great if I could take some of your questions. Let me know if you've got any questions about the uh, Laptop 6. I'm a Microsoft Surface MVP, so if you've got any questions, that would be great. And uh, if about certain things you want to try, I should be trying on it, let me know. So thanks for watching this video. It's not your traditional sort of unboxing video because it's been out for a while and people have done that and I've not gone through all the specs, but I wanted to document sort of how I'm finding this in my uh, processes. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.